Now that we understood why Java is popular and what is platform independence, we would move on to the next question. What are the differences between Java and C++? The major difference for me is C++, C++ is not really platform independent, whereas Java is. Uh, and also, I mean, I wouldn't be able to call Java a pure object-oriented language uh, because there are uh, things like uh, variables. Uh, I can create uh, the basic variable types like team uh, or uh, char, uh, which are not really uh, objects. So, I mean, I wouldn't really be able to call it a pure uh, object-oriented language, but it's more purer than C++. Let's put it that way. In Java, I wouldn't be able to do any structured programming at all. But C++ allows that. Uh, so, that's a difference between Java and C++. The next one is C++ has pointers. I mean, same as C. I mean, it has pointers where you can use, uh, I mean, you can directly access the content of internal memory uh, using these pointers. Whereas Java has no concept point called pointers. Therefore, Java programs are much more secure. With C++, you can access the memory. I mean, you can try and, I mean, there are, ways to avoid it, I mean, which makes it really complex, but uh, Java is much more secure. It doesn't really access, I mean, a program would not be able to access anything other than what's really allowed for it. The next important one is that in C++, a programmer has to do all the memory management. Uh, he has to write the code to create an object, allocate memory to it, uh, remove memory from it, and all that kind of stuff. Whereas in Java, most of this stuff is taken care of by the JDM. Uh, the uh, programmer has to just focus on creating the object. JVM takes takes care of giving it memory, and once the object is out of scope, it makes sure that it's garbage collected as well. So uh, that's another uh, reason why programming with Java is much more simple. Uh, the other difference is uh, multiple inheritance. Whereas C++ supports multiple inheritance, Java doesn't. I mean, there are people who say Java also supports multiple inheritance because there are interfaces and I can implement multiple interfaces, but not really. I mean, interfaces are not the same as uh, extension inheritance. So, uh, having the feature to extend multiple interfaces uh, doesn't really mean multiple inheritance. Now that we understood the differences between Java and C++, we would move on to the next topic class load.